does. I know that um, most people, everybody, an average Christian knows what the cross is. Even if you are not really in deep relationship with God, you go to church, maybe Easter time and Christmas time, you know what the cross is. Hallelujah. So the topic says the cross and the crossing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The cross was first introduced to mankind, to mankind in Genesis chapter 3, verses 14 to 15. That was when man sinned. And God said in that Genesis, say, So the Lord said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life, and I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. And he shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. The last one, and you shall bruise his heel. The Lord was talking to the serpent, to the devil. Satan bruising the heel of Jesus Christ means finishing the sacrificial work on the cross at Golgotha. That single line goes very, very deep. And you shall bruise his heel. Hallelujah. The cross and the crossing. The Lord said to the servant that he would bruise the heel of Jesus. God was referring to the finished work of the cross. Coming to make the ultimate sacrifice for us. So that we can be eternally be reconciled back to God. Jesus now we know is at the right hand of the Father seated waiting interceding for us and waiting for judgment time so we know Jesus has finished the work of the cross and he died at Calvary everybody we know that the one who was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for iniquities and the chastisement of our peace upon him and by the by, by, by stripes by the striping by the beating of Jesus Christ we have been made whole the cross as the work of the cross has been finished no wonder Jesus said in John chapter 19, verses 28 to 20, Jesus said, after this, Jesus said, knowing that all things are now accomplished, it has been accomplished. The work on the cross has been accomplished. It has finished. It has been done. Rando Pekelia, the assignment God has called me to do, I have finished my bit. The finished work of the cross has been done. You and I have to do the crossing. Rabba Koshata Baba. Jesus said, in John chapter 19, verses 28 to 30. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished. All things were now accomplished. All things were now accomplished. Your visa to get to heaven has been accomplished. Everything you need to do, you need to have, you need to, to take you to heaven has been accomplished. That the scripture might be fulfilled. Saying, I test. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there. And he filled a sponge with the sour wine and put it on his soap and put it in his mouth. I'm not going there. So when Jesus had freed, received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. Bowing his head, he gave up the ghost. He finished it. He finished his, the work on the cross. What, what was Jesus saying when he said it is finished? He said, the bruising has finished. Genesis 3, 14 to 15. The bruising has finished. The wounding has finished. The chastising has finished. This, the, the sacrificing oh, has finished. Oh, the enduring the endurance that the work has the Bible says in uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Jesus endured the cross. He finished that. The stripping has finished. The reduction has finished. All the pain he has to endure, he has to take. Jesus finished it at the cross. I'm going somewhere. Please stay with me. As we can see in Isaiah 53, verses 5, 3 to 5, I said it earlier. He is despised and rejected by men. A man of sorrow, uh, sorrow and acquainted with grief. And we hid it 
he as if it were a faces from him he was despised and he did not esteem him we did not esteem him surely he was despised and we did not esteem him surely he was born he has borne our griefs he and, and carried our sorrows that was finished and we esteem his stricken smitten by God and afflicted that was finished but he was wounded for our transgressions yes he finished that he was bruised for our iniquities he finished that too the chastisement of our peace was upon him yes he took it for us and by stripes we were healed so what is happening now all this Jesus has done so we can make the crossing the question is why are you delaying your crossing why are you delaying your salvation why are you delaying the effectiveness of the work of the cross in your life if you don't do the crossing yourself the effectiveness of the work of on the cross cannot be made manifest in your life if you don't do the crossing yourself if you don't make the choice to follow jesus yourself listen rather caution you cannot be parted from the old ways of your life wanting the new thing to happen in your life you have to do the crossing yourself you have to cross on the cross to let the effectiveness of the work of the cross to come manifesting in your life listen to colossians chapter 2 verse 14. the handwriting of ordinance against us was taken off on the cross there was condemnation on us we have been condemned when god said hey Adam, where are you where are you say ah i, I don't know where you, i don't know where I, father god i'm hitting myself I, i'm hiding because i have seen i have eaten what you said i should not eat so there was separation there was separation the fellowship ceased spiritual death happened Death sentence was issued for us. The handwriting of ordinance was made against us. Thank God for the cross. And Jesus took it off on the cross. Jesus canceled it on the cross. Jesus no, nullified condemnation and death on the cross. Colossians 2.14 Blotting out the handwriting of ordinance that was against us which was contrary to us and took it out of the way nailing it to the cross La brother thank God for this man that made a uh, passion of Christ Lambra dosi in Galava it was all done on the cross having these principalities and powers he made a public show of them triumphing over them in it hallelujah Philippians 2 8 says something about Jesus humbling himself at the cross so after all this said and done that Jesus has done all this on the cross we have to make the choice to do the cross in ourselves I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back is that your song right now Hallelujah. the wall behind me the cross before me the wall behind me the cross before me the wall behind me the cross before me no turning back no turning back when you do the crossing no turning back you can't live your life your own way anymore. You've got to leave it to God because Jesus paid the price ultimately for you. When Jesus says sit, you've got to sit. When Jesus says stand, you've got to stand. When Jesus says carry yourself and go on missionary assignment, you begin to live for God. 